So this one's going to be on how to be able to install Jupyter Notebook on PyCharm as a plugin. And uh, keep in mind, you can actually install Jupyter Notebook directly on your system. However, the reason why you want to do something like this is so you can keep it isolated within the virtual environment. And uh, also a heads up is uh, you're not going to get like the um, Jupyter Notebook in here. What you're doing basically is you're installing the uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, the uh, server. And that way you can launch it and be able to use it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the easiest way to install it is going through the terminal. And you can use pip for that. So pip install. And then uh, Jupyter. Okay, so now that it, that is finished installing, we can very simply launch Jupyter Notebook by just typing Jupyter and then space notebook. And that'll go ahead and start the server. So let's go ahead and run it. The thing you might need is you might need to update first, uh, but looks like, okay, there we go. So it uh, went ahead and launched it. Okay, so that's it. Looks like I already had one with a password on it. So it's gonna ask me for the password. I'm gonna see if that's the right one. Okay, so here we go. There we go. So now you can start working on your Jupyter Notebook. So it works from here. Cool thing about it is, again, it's within a virtual environment, so it's not on your system. Anything goes wrong, you don't have to worry about it. Um, and you can also be able to use everything else that you install, like any other packages and whatnot. Any, everything can be basically integrated within PyCharm, so that's the main advantage. I mean, you can definitely use uh, Jupyter Notebook, um, you know, by itself, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated to get everything else, you know, when you're working with other packages like Map. Matplotlib and I mean whatever else you want to use like pandas whatnot. So that's one of the main reasons why you want to get. Um, that's the main reason why you want to install Jupyter Notebook as a plugin within PyCharm. So that's it for now. Bye.